Hi, I'm Nathan, and over the past 12 years of working in the IT industry, I've used dozens of CRM systems. I've used industry-specific ERP applications. I've used small turnkey CRM solutions. I've evaluated, demoed, and implemented dozens of different systems into multiple companies. But the system and the CRM that I keep coming back to is Zoho One. That's not to say that Zoho One is the only good web application out there. There are dozens, hundreds, thousands even of different web applications that have been created to meet all sorts of different company needs and user needs. I'm going to be talking and reviewing several of those over the coming weeks and months, so be sure to subscribe if you want to watch those as they become available. So why Zoho One? On the face of it, it may seem like a relatively expensive solution. In fact, I discounted it myself for that very reason originally. If you're looking for a bog standard CRM, effectively a glorified contact manager, then it may be that a simpler low cost alternative will be better for you. What I think that Zoho One is great at though, is that it makes itself the perfect solution for small and particularly for micro-sized businesses. The reason? Well, the alternative is that you pay for multiple tools that you then have to manually integrate, or you have to pay for another tool to integrate them for you. So you might use MailChimp for your email marketing, Buffer for social media, Power BI for business analytics, Typeform for forms, Squarespace for your website, Xero for bookkeeping, plus paying for Google Workspace or Microsoft 365, and then you throw in Zapier to link them all together. But with Zoho One, you get Zoho's versions of those tools included. This can save you a huge amount of time and money, which you can then repurpose to perform the actions you need to actually grow your business. So what's the catch? The main catch is that this really depends on the size of your business because of Zoho One's licensing model. Now, assuming you pay monthly, you can get all of these features for $35 per employee or £35 per employee. But notice I said employee, not user. And that's because Zoho One requires you to purchase a license for every employee in your business, regardless of whether or not they use one or several or no applications included in Zoho One. You can pay a license just for the employees that you need, but that's going to cost you £85 or $85 per month, so almost three times as much. Effectively, you could get a license for three employees or for just one. So who's this for then? Well, in the US, 98% of businesses employ 20 people or less. In the UK, 96% of businesses employ 10 people or less. And it's these micro businesses for whom Zoho One is most effective. Let's say you're a company that wants to do the following. You want to post to social media, you want to send email campaigns, communicate via email, create documents, you want to maintain a list of customers and suppliers, run a website of course, you want to provide help and support through a help desk and maybe live chat, you want to manage your books and keep your accounts up to date. Well, if you cost out what each of the individual applications required to do all of those things will be, then if you're paying for Buffer, that's $15 a month, MailChimp is $15 a month, Office will be at least $6 a month. Uh, for a bog standard CRM, you might get away with a free one, but if you grow, then entry level prices will be around $15 a month again. Squarespace is $15 a month. You're going to pay for a help desk with live chat features, that's around $20. And accounting packages like Xero and QuickBooks will be $20, $30 a month as well. And even if you think, well, I don't really need that, or I can get away without that feature, or just use the free version, then even the very base level of these different applications is going to end up costing you well over $100 a month. It's also worth considering that Zoho One is not just going to save you some monthly user costs, but it's also going to expand and improve your capabilities to run your business in a number of different ways. Firstly, remember, you're not getting the bog standard base version of a number of different web applications, but you're getting the enterprise level 
of each of Zoho's different applications. And remember, these web applications are standalone, sold in their own right to perform the functions that they do. You're just getting them bundled together in Zoho One. But secondly, Zoho One does more than you need it to. And that's a good thing because it's gonna give you capabilities to expand and grow your business in ways you haven't even thought of yet. If you wanna start a subscription service, there's an application for that. If you start employing people, you can use their HR solution. If you wanna get really advanced and you need to build your own custom application, they've got a tool for that as well. But finally, and this is one of my favorite features about using Zoho One when I launched my own small business, it's a real weight off to know that all of these individual applications are already tightly integrated. So you don't need to spend a lot of time working out how to add your customers onto your mailing list or checking which ones are interacting with you on social media or pulling up an invoice in one system for a customer and checking that's the same customer that you've got in another system over here. They're very straightforward to tightly integrate together to, to see the flow of data through the different applications and the different use cases. And you can do it straight away or you can do it a few weeks or months after you launch and you can know that it's gonna be quite straightforward to sort out duplicates and make sure that your data is as clean and tidy as you need it to be. So those are my initial thoughts on why Zoho One is a great fit, especially for micro businesses, but depending on the type of business you run, maybe even for larger businesses as well. And in the coming weeks and months, I'll be going into more detail on these points and also reviewing different applications that I've used and that may be useful to you and your business as well. So be sure to subscribe if you wanna see those as they become available. And also, please comment below with your favorite web application or software that you use in your business. I'd love to know what you use and why, whether it's something you use for accounting or automation or social media management. Uh, put it in a comment below and I'd love to maybe review it in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this educational as well as boring. And please be sure to hit the like button if you did.